Welcome to the WorldBook Advanced site. In this video, we'll give a quick tour of the homepage and demonstrate a search. Keep in mind that we've built Advanced with responsive design, so the site will look different depending on the size of your screen and what type of device you're using to connect. However, right on the homepage, you'll always find the search bar, these five research tools, the In the Headlines feature, featured videos, and a primary source search. Anything that you don't find right on the homepage, you can get to from the Take Me To drop-down menu here at the top right. Now let's take a look at how to conduct a basic search, which is where most students will start on the site. I'm going to search for lion. Click search. You'll see that a search returns many different types of search results. Advanced has a total of 19 types of sources, and they show up across the top here. Please note that by selecting all or media in the search bar, users may limit their search to just sounds, images, videos, and animations. Results default to encyclopedia articles, but users may filter by all these different types of results, including maps, tables, back in time articles, special reports. Next, let's take a look at the advanced search. The advanced search offers the most precise search options. You can search for a word or phrase from here. You can search by date. You can also search by Lexile measure by entering that here. There's also a Lexile measure on the left hand side in this table. And then you can specify the type of sources that you want to search in case you just want to look at primary sources, for example. Next, these are your browse options. There's also an option for a Boolean search. And finally, as I mentioned, a Lexile measure search. WorldBook Advanced is an incredibly powerful research tool. Please take a look at some of our other videos to learn more about the special features of Advanced and to take a look at an article. In this video, I'll show you around one of Advanced's beautiful redesigned articles. I love the article on Japan, so let's search for that. I'm just going to enter my search term here in the search bar. Click search to view all of my results. A WorldBook Advanced Search will return up to 19 types of sources in your search results. Search results default to encyclopedia articles, but you can view the rest of the results by clicking the black triangle next to More. look at maps, sounds, images, special reports, etc. Let's jump into the encyclopedia article. The first thing that you'll notice is a large splash image front and center which helps bring this article to life. The splash images are found on a selection of our most popular articles in advanced. You can click this blue triangle at the bottom right corner of the image to reveal a slug line for more information. From here you can also save the image to my research or you can print it. Just click the triangle again to hide the slug line. In the article view, the content is intuitively organized so that each page is divided into two columns so that all of the media, the images, videos, audio, and maps related to the article align in a column on the left-hand side of the main article text. This way, the text is not interrupted by images or other media, but they're close by to enrich the reading experience. The article also features clear text hierarchy and larger font. This results in a clean and uncluttered display that's easy to read and understand. Sticky navigation ensures that tools and tabs along the top remain at the top of the page when, wherever you scroll so that they're always there when you need them. You can double click on any word to reveal its definition in the World Book Dictionary. You can continue searching the dictionary here or you can just X out of this screen to return to the article. Now let's jump to the very bottom of the page. At 
the bottom of each article, you will find the contributors who provided information for the article, as well as official citations in MLA, APA, and Harvard formats. This tool is really useful for young researchers. Please note that by clicking this large blue arrow on the right-hand side, you'll jump right back to the top of the article. Now let's take a look at what else users can do from this article page. Click this icon beneath my research to reveal article contents. This will show the Lexile measure for the article, and it also shows the various sections and subsections of the article, so you can jump to the section of the article that you need right away, saving you time. Next, we'll look at the tools and settings, which are under this gear icon. This handy drop-down menu shows all the actions that you can take from the article page. This view function enables users to view the article in one long page that you can scroll down, or breaks the article into individual sections, depending on the preference of the reader. From save, Users may save this entire article as a PDF or save it to my research, which we'll cover in a different video. You may also email this article. You can print the article from here. Here's another way to view the citations in a pop-up display box right on the screen. You can translate this text into 80 different languages. The translated text will appear in a new tab Please note that none of the links will be live. This is strictly a translated version of the text. Worldbook Advanced Articles also offer text-to-speech capability. You can highlight the search term, and you can also adjust the text size and make it larger or smaller here, again, depending on the preferences of the user. Moving over to the left-hand side of the toolbar, you have access to a search button to look for different content without having to return to the home page. Please note again that you can search all or media to just return video, audio, and sounds. You also have access to your advanced search from here. Each article is organized using three tabs. The article tab, which we're in, the images, videos, and audio tab, and then related information. Let's jump into images, videos, and audio. This tab is where you'll find media that you can use for your research project. It contains all of the images, videos, maps or sounds from the article, plus often additional media from Worldbook Online. Please note that you can save any media from Worldbook Online to your personal computer, and you're able to use it for a Prezi or PowerPoint presentation so long as it's for educational purposes. Finally, let's check the Related Information tab, where you'll find additional information such as valuable primary sources, related encyclopedia articles, books, back-in-time articles, special reports, a list of websites vetted by our expert editors, magazine articles, geolocated content standards, and finally, critical thinking questions to help guide class discussion. You can always click the logo at the top to return you to the home page. That wraps up our video about the Worldbook Advanced Articles. In this video, we're going to talk about our online book archive, our primary sources, and our Today in History, all of which can be found here in our Worldbook Advanced database. Let's jump right into our online book archive. Here you'll be able to search for online books, view some most viewed online books either in your network or within Worldbook Online, Search via author, title, language, of which we have nine different languages that these nearly 10,000 books are available, and by genre. For example, if we wanted to look specifically at some American literature, and we knew our author's name started with E to L, we can pull up one of Edgar Allan Poe's books. Here we can see the book itself, the citation down at the bottom. We can save this to our research, which is explained in another video. We can email this to ourselves. We can print this material. We can translate this text into a variety of languages. We can increase or decrease the text size. We can have it read aloud to us. We can find related articles and related information.
And that, in a brief word, is how you find our online book archive. Let's move now to our primary sources, which can be accessed in one of two ways. First, right here on our home page, you can browse primary sources if you know the title itself by alphabetically or one of our featured primary sources. You can also select primary sources from our Take Me To menu. Now we're going to do a search here for Roosevelt so that we can have a look at his actual first address. Our primary sources are just that, primary documents from history which your students can look at and utilize in their studies. In this instance, we're looking at the exact text of President Roosevelt's first inaugural address. We still have our citation information down at the bottom. We can still access related information, such as presidential papers, special reports, or our teaching with documents, which we'll explain in another video. We can also see related articles. And we can still, as we did with our online book archive, save, email, print, translate, increase or decrease text size, and hear it read out loud to us. And that's primary source documents. Finally, let's have a look at our Today in History, which is a fun feature that we include here in our advanced site for your students. Our Today in History features birthdays and events around the globe for today, March 31st. We can also look at archived versions, such as May of last year. You can save this material, you can email it, and you can also print it to, to yourself. Welcome to a video for World Book Advanced, where we're going to discuss our resource guides, our government websites, and our world newspapers. First, let's start with our resource guides. These are a great opportunity for your students to have a look at a variety of content on one subject, be it a state within the United States or a country outside of it. As you can see here, we're looking at Illinois because this is geolocated. We can click into our encyclopedia articles and see any and all articles that will have to do with Illinois, including biographies, explorers, and political leaders. And as we continue to scroll through, you'll see all of the content available that in some way relates back to the state of Illinois, including economic information, historical information, Native American groups, plant and animal life, and other related articles. You'll also find selected media, books that our editors recommend, and newspapers. For your convenience, we also have a drop-down menu where you can click right into Land and Climate or Plant and Animal Life. Those are our resource guides. Be sure to check them out. Let's move now and have a look at our government websites. Our government websites are also geolocated, in this instance, Illinois. We can see our State Board of Education, our Department of Veteran, Veteran Affairs, and other websites. If we scroll back up here to the top, we can see government websites for the United States, including general information, such as our Census Bureau. Now this will take you to a link outside of World Book Online, but within the World Book Online network. Let's move now to our world newspapers. What we want to do is make a selection as to which country we'd like to view a newspaper of. We can scroll through this and we can also type the country itself. Again, this link will leave WorldBook but still be within the WorldBook Network page. And it will be in its native language. So if you have native speakers or those learning French, this is a great opportunity for them to pull current events or read that information. In this video, 
We're going to discuss our WorldBook Atlas within our WorldBook Advanced database and our Compare Places feature. First, under our Take Me To menu, let's have a look at our Atlas. Now we can click the links on the left hand side, or we can click right on the map itself. For example, if we click into Africa, we can go even further, and then click the links to look at our World Book article pages. and have more information. And that's the World Book Atlas. Now let's have a look at our Compare Places, which we can access at our Take Me To drop-down menu. This is a fantastic compare and contrast place for your students to look at states, provinces, dependencies, countries, and even continents. For example, if we'd like to compare and contrast two countries, we can scroll through and find them, we can search for a specific country, once we click on that country, we can explore it right here with some quick facts, related photos, any sounds such as the national anthem, and the government link. We can also have this pop open a new page where we can view that article itself. And our third choice is to compare this with another country. Now once we do that, we hit the Compare Now button, and we get a handy tool in the center of our page, which can be printed, where we can see the similarities and differences between Kenya and Kosovo. That'll include government type, head of state, head of government, and life expectancy. And that's our Compare Places in WorldBook Advanced. Now we've shown you our Atlas and our Compare Places. In this video, we're going to discuss our My Research capabilities and our Citation Builder. First, let's jump right into our My Research, which is like a digital backpack where your students or educators can save images, media, articles, outside websites and books within WorldBook Online almost like a portfolio. And these can be used anywhere. The media can be presented in educational spaces, such as presentations, and these articles and images can also be saved to your home computer. Before we log in, let me show you how to create an account. Click Create an Account, and then put your first name, your account type, whether you're a student, a media specialist, or an administrator, the name of your institution, your My Research username, this is what you'll use to log in. We recommend that you utilize an email address. That way, if you forget your account password, we can go ahead and forward it to you very simply. Choose a password, retype that, click a security question, and hit login. It's that simple. Now let me log in so I can show you what the My Research function actually looks like. Let me go ahead and open a project where I have a little bit more information. You can save multiple projects within your My Research account. So if your student has an English project to take care of or a research paper, you can save multiple projects within your My Research account, be them in English, science, or social studies. As I said, you can save encyclopedia articles, back in time articles, primary sources, any of our online books, images that can be utilized in educational spaces, external website links, and external books. This is a great way to have your students compile their research information before they write their project or their paper. They can save this material to their desktop. They could email it to themselves or to you for verification that they've done the work. They can print it as well. They can also add a note to any of those documents, which will help them to remember why they saved it in the first place. Now that's a basic overview of our My Research function. Let's also have a look at our Citation Builder, which is another tool that we feature in WorldBook Advanced to help students in their research materials. 
Here they can choose a type of citation they'd like to create. Now these citations will appear in MLA, APA, and Harvard formats. You can cite everything from an encyclopedia article within World Book Online, to an interview, to a visual work of art, to a podcast, and even a blog. Once you select Go, you simply fill out the information on the author and the podcast information, and when you click Create Citation, it will generate that citation for you in MLA, APA, and Harvard format. In this video, we're going to discuss all of our educator tools in WorldBook Advanced. These include our curriculum correlations, our lesson plans, our teaching with documents, and our pathfinders. Let's start with our four educators tab down here at the bottom where we can link into our educator tools. Those include geolocated curriculum correlations, which we can delineate between subject, grade, and standards, professional links including various associations and organizations, and lesson plans vetted by our World Book editors based on these six topics. Some of our other educator tools can be found in our Take Me To drop-down menu. Those include our Pathfinders. World Book Pathfinders are collections of resources which include primary sources, online books, encyclopedia articles, and multimedia. The cool thing about Pathfinders is that you as an educator can create a Pathfinder to share within your network or within the WorldBook community. So, if one high school teacher is talking about Abraham Lincoln and the other wants to see what they did that day, they can have a look at their Pathfinder. Finally, under our Take Me To menu, we can have a look at our Teaching With Documents. These Teaching With Documents incorporate our WorldBook primary sources in which we've created lesson plans around. For example, let's have a quick look. We all know about FDR's address after the Pearl Harbor bombing, but what we've never seen before is his actual first draft. So here we include some background information, some activities for the classroom, some listening skills, some things to further your students' investigation, and my favorite, the actual document itself. When we click here, we are actually looking at FDR's first draft in his proposed message to Congress after the Pearl Harbor bombing. We can see any notes he made and any additions. This is a great cross-curricular material. Now, if we come back to the document itself, we can save this to our research, we could email this to ourself or another colleague, we could print it, translate it into a variety of languages, increase or decrease the text size, and hear this teaching with document read out loud. We'll have related article information and related information generally. That will include our presidential papers, other teaching with documents, and of course the primary sources we're generating these lesson plans from. Our teaching with documents are great to be utilized in conjunction with current lesson plans and for additional lesson plans. Thanks for watching our video on our educator tools, which can be found in WorldBook Advanced, including, but of course not limited to, our curriculum correlations, our lesson plans and professional links, our pathfinders, and our teaching with documents.